Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to another episode of Real Estate Investing. And my name is Si Wing Yi, and my co host is Marie McCann of SpartanInvest.com. How are you, Marie? I'm fantastic, Si Wing. You know, it's always, it's always, I always look forward to these with you because we're just the crusaders of truth. Uh, exactly, exactly. That's right. Yeah, you have a sporting invest. Uh, you have a warrior mentality. So that's you. You you are a realistic warrior. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> uh, anyway, today's topic is a uh, very interesting, and uh, we are going to talk about Huntsville, Alabama. And uh, this, as far as I'm concerned, I've been kind of promoting Huntsville, Alabama lately. Uh, and uh, is uh, I think is a is a best kept secret investment market, and the uh, the uh, the mainstream media are not talk about are not talking about it at least not just yet. But uh, but you don't want that. You want to be uh, ahead of the curve. You want to be uh, first in, first out, and uh, you, you you gotta you gotta get ahead of the curve and get in front every, before everybody else found out about it because uh, early, the early birds gets the warm, right? <laughs> My parents used to say that to me as a kid. Still holds true today. <laughs> okay, let's dive through this, uh, you know, no longer than 25 minute video, hopefully. So uh, so people can not lose atten uh, their attention span. You know how that goes. <laughs> So let me share my screen. Let's let me go through the uh, the Redfin uh, uh, report, which I've been using quite a lot to uh, talk about different uh, uh, real estate markets on on my YouTube channel. So uh, let me uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and go over the big picture. Uh, this uh, medium price in Huntsville, Alabama, according to Redfin. Let me go over the uh, the blue screen. The blue line uh, is 2019 before the pandemic began. Then the red line is 2020, right at the peak of the beginning of the pandemic. And then the orange line is uh, 2021. And the black line above is uh, this current year, 2022. So with that in mind, let's go over the medium price of a Huntsville home uh, back in 2019, which is two, uh, 217,000. At that time, it's very, very low price. It's a perfect opportunity, even then, a few years ago, for investors to buy into this market by way, way early. So uh, so you can uh, lock in your price and lock in your interest rate and lock into your, uh, to the mortgage rate and, and, and position yourself for the growth and get a good rent in gross rent like this is fifteen hundred dollars at that time 25 percent down payment very good cash flow so 2019 then from 2019 to 20 is uh already have grown which is very surprising you know i'm betting those of you who are watching this video you will be you are going to be not only surprised but are shocked about what's going on in this market. Just to go show, to show you, you cannot listen to the national news media because they, they are clueless if you think about it. So you have to find the right market uh, for, for your, to build your real estate portfolio. And they're not, you know, they're not available out there. You know, you have to work with a team such as us that will give you some very, very specific um, areas of focus to target because real estate is not national, real estate is local. You buy, uh, there's no such thing as a national uh, real estate. You know, real estate is always local, so you, uh, investors, real estate investors, they need to understand that. So so let, this is mind boggling. Even I'm kind of surprised, and I know this market very well. This is a second wave of second wave of invasion for, for home buyers and real estate investors. But if people wait too long, this market, this market uh, in, in Huntsville will pass people by. I, I guarantee you not. So let me show the data. Okay, I'm gonna give you third party substantiated data from Redfin. And from 2019 to 2020, if the price has grown already 13%, who would have thought? Now, but wait, there's more. Sounds like an infomercial, but wait, there's more. <laughs> from 2020, from 2020 to 2021, the appreciation, another 19%. This is shocking. 
and the median price at that time is two ninety four in Huntsville, Alabama. Then from twenty twenty one to the peak of twenty twenty two, year over year, July thirty first ending, another seventeen percent appreciation, and the new median price of a single family home is is already three hundred forty three thousand today. So you fast forward even the past six months with the uh, uh, interest rate rising, mortgage rate rising from around 3.5% at the first quarter of this year, 2022. Now the, the investment, uh, the interest rate now is like 7% and th this market uh, have just not even have a very, very slight reduction of prices, which is uh, not really that relevant. It's not significant to, to talk about it. So still year over year, is 12% from 2021 to 22, 12% plus 19% is, is 31%, right? Plus 9%, 30%, 40%. So 40% plus 49%, uh, for, plus 9%, 50% price appreciation in the past three years from 2019 to 2022. Now, to me, that is, that is interesting and mind boggling. So uh, so what, what I see here, there's no reduction of prices, there's no correction, no crash for sure in this uh, specific market. Let's, let's look at months of supply, right? As we know, five to six months is a healthy balanced market whereby supply of homes equal demand of homes. However, in this market in Huntsville, uh, the year end, uh, the date ending October 30th, 30th, 2022, the weeks of supply is 13.8%. If you uh, if you divide that by four months, uh, uh, it's like four, it's like a little bit over three months supply of inventory. So that's nothing. So that tells me the uh, supply of inventory in the Huntsville market is very low relative to currently moderate demand. Uh, when the demand gets higher, we're pumped up, uh, especially when the interest rate are coming down, hopefully in the next year, then we're going to see some market frenzy. So, so that is my presentation. So a Spartan Invest with Marine McCann, you guys are the, uh, are the, turn, the leading turnkey provider of listing investments for out-of-state investors, and you have already entered this market, Huntsville, Alabama. Not only this market, I'm not, we're not gonna talk about the other market you are already in, in Alabama and Tennessee and a few other places. So you guys are up and coming, uh, leading uh, what I call quote unquote turnkey real estate providers for out of state investors that wanna buy cash flow properties. So the mainstream media, so my, my, my takeaway is, this is a great opportunity to buy in the front end of the market. And your place, uh, your company, and your system is in a prime position to provide this great template of uh, great turnkey cash flow properties. Uh, uh, it's just the platter. You, you guys are providing the platter uh, you know, of houses for investors. Here, take it. We have done all, most of our research and due diligence. We have, we have our in-house, off-market, turnkey, all rehab properties, many new constructions we have in place. The numbers make sense, even with the higher interest rate. Plus we have several promotions we can talk about, you're gonna talk about. So, I mean, what else? I mean, what else does a real estate investors need to look at before pull the trigger to build their real estate portfolio in your market uh, to, uh, for, for the long term? I mean. Uh, and and do it at the front end before everybody, before the mainstream media finds out about it. So, so okay, the rest of the 10, 15 minutes of, the, of this presentation is all yours. You tell the audience why you are, you are already in the Huntsville real estate investment market, why you, are, you guys are providing a value add for other investors who can, in, who can in, potentially invest remotely, uh, passively, and they, they could uh, they could scale their investment portfolio by multiple properties on a systematic basis. And your turnkey approach and system can help them do all that uh, with uh, with very, very little effort. So go ahead. And <laughs> take it away. Take it yeah. away. Well, thank you, Si Wing. It's always a pleasure. And I do um, love the market of Huntsville. We went into that market almost four, uh, three years ago, I guess. 
we started. And that's because we saw what Mayor Battles was doing there. He, he had built, you know, he had that mindset of if you build it, they will come. And he built a phenomenal infrastructure that is all relatively new. And so you've got um, rail, runway, uh, roads that just take anything that's manufactured in Huntsville and can get it, you know, north, south, east, or west in an instant. Similar to FedEx being based in Memphis, you've got um, uh, large manufacturers like the Toyota Mazda that, um, that picked Huntsville to be their uh, headquarters for their uh, manufacturing plant here in the United States. So with that brings an abundant amount of jobs, abundant amount of population growth. Um, we saw what Mayor Battles had done on the infrastructure side and was just we started tracking what was happening in Huntsville because it's only 90 minutes north. Of, of Birmingham. And as you know, we, we enter our 10th year into business, you know, you kind of start in Birmingham and then as you get more profitable and get a little bigger, then you can hire, you know, um, uh, uh, more opposition, more people on your opposition's team. So then you can go out a little further. And if anyone knows, you know, the Interstate 65 connects Birmingham to Huntsville to Nashville and keeps going on through Canada, right? So we just kept expanding and we kept finding our uh, expanding north on the 65, um, we discovered Huntsville and all that it can op- all that it does offer today for um, investors. And I can tell you this: when I was looking at your Redfin data, I'm thinking about my investors that bought with us back in um, whatever 20, even 2020, 2019, um, when we opened that market. How well they've done on. Um, the equity accrual, the capital appreciation piece. And I think, you know, had these individuals sat on the sidelines, benched themselves from the game, didn't get into the game, they would not even have ex- uh, experienced uh, the exceptional capital growth in those properties that you so um, beautifully highlighted through third-party Redfin. So, um why Huntsville? I'll give you just the, the highlight bullet points. Um, you've got before you go on. Before you go on, for my personal experience, I'm ex-military. I, I'm I'm retired from the U.S. Army twenty years ago, by the way. <laughs> so so the U.S. military they have a, a space program located in Huntsville. Huntsville for years has been called. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I know you're on a roll. Okay, got it. <laughs> Huntsville is. Because I'm so excited, I have to I have to get this out right. So Huntsville is, <laughs> you know me, a, a Huntsville is AKA quote end quote it's a rocket city. It, it's a nickname for Huntsville's rocket city because they have space program. The military created a new branch, the Space Force. A new branch of the military is up and coming. There is a space, uh, you know, uh, war, uh, Star Wars, Space War. So the defense contractors, the NASA, and all the high-tech space-related companies are already in the area, Huntsville. Uh, so so high-tech, the military, the government, the defense contractors, they are already in place as part of the overall growth of Huntsville, Alabama. So um, Sorry, that's I had to. Do. I love your excitement because no, you've got you've got a direct tie to it because one, I know you spent some time there. Two, you served in the military. Thank you for your service. And three, that is what the foundation of um, what Huntsville has been founded on is government contracts. Redstone Arsenal is the largest employer. Um, you've got Facebook, Google data centers. You have um, Amazon distribution and fulfillment centers there. I mean, everything is growing so rapidly. So. Um, it's it's one of those markets that um, I unfortunately I really didn't want a lot of people to know about it because then it attracts you know when mainstream media is talking about it then it just attracts a lot of competition you know to the marketplace and you know we recognize that there's not enough housing um, more undersupply in the United States but there because of the population has been so strong because of the job growth has been exceptional. Um, I mean, you've got, you kind of mentioned some of the, the government um, contracts with companies like uh, Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, Airbus, Teledyne, uh, Blue Origin. Um, so there are, it's mostly technology, um, uh, uh, um, space 
uh, um, developing of rockets. It's, it is called this. It is called the Rocket City for a reason. There's a big rocket on the NASA um, uh, grounds that you can you, you can't miss it if you're driving down the freeway. So the the key things that your investors would want to know is it has got not only a stable and diverse economy, it has got such growth going on. Rent.com published an article about, I think it's about eight weeks ago now, six to eight weeks ago, called Migration Nation. And it looked at the in-net migration of some of the top cities in the United States. Huntsville, Athens, Decatur was number one, was the number one in-net migration of people moving to Huntsville. So I feel like the cat's out of the bag. People know about it. But from an investment standpoint, it really does offer an exceptional opportunity to get into a hot growing market that is not showing any signs of slowing down um, because of the uh, exceptional job growth there. And we already have an established team, established contractors, um, the whole kit and caboodle, right? From the insurance agent, bug guy, whatever it is that you need, our team has already established um, relationships with. And so when you talked about the platter, um, it's, you would, if you could appreciate all the hard work that was done behind the scenes to be able to present you a completed property, either newly built, because we are doing new builds. And I noticed something seeing on your Redfin um, data. It showed the median home price there of $337,000. We're building new construction for two eighty five, dollars three bedroom, two bath, right? So there's an upward uh, uh, potential for um, capital appreciation like that. Um, and then the rental market there is ridiculous. Um, the need for housing um, far outseeds what is available. So our my leasing agent, Emily, out there looks like a rock star because she can lease them so quickly. May I say something? Yeah. So again, my research indicates that uh, uh, during the pandemic, even before the pandemic, people have been migrating into this area. Yeah, Alabama is kind of weird. It's part of a, uh, what I think, uh, what I describe as a hybrid market, meaning a hybrid market meaning is as a little bit of a cyclical market, a little bit of a, a tertiary, tertiary market. Uh, so, so you guys are kind of in a Midwest kind of market, kind of, you know, but then again, you guys are part of the Sun Belt market. So, so, uh, uh, so it, that's in a good way because many markets, especially during the market, has skyrocketing prices. All the yeah. locals, all the locals in Florida, in Texas, in in other areas of the country, they're being priced out uh, of renting and priced out of own uh, home ownership because uh, prices are skyrocketing, especially in Florida and Texas and few other areas uh, uh, of the country and you know many other areas in the West as well. So people, the locals in those uh, areas, uh, they are being priced out. Renting has skyrocketing and home prices skyrocketing. So they are going to a market, they are migrating. I believe the second wave of migration, the first wave occurred right before the pandemic when everybody moving uh, due to the, uh, because of the availability of uh, working at home, remote working uh, 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 revolution. But I, I clearly, my data shows me that the migration of people post pandemic they're going to come to Alabama and they're going uh, and the Tennessee, uh, the region, because it is very still very unfor uh, uh, affordable. Is the prices are lower, much lower than even in Florida and Texas, and the rent is lower. So a lot of areas in Florida and Texas, you know, you know, the, uh, the people uh, have to pay two thousand dollars rent to rent a uh, uh, one uh, two bedroom apartment in uh, many areas in Florida, in Georgia, and and in and, and Texas. So Huntsville, for the time being, the prices are lower. Renting a home is a, a little bit cheaper and home ownership is a, is a goal for a lot of people. So I clearly see the uh, migration of people for the foreseeable future and people want to buy a home in Huntsville, Alabama. So that's, that's my, my, my total, total belief and, and I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense because, I mean, just think about it now. Anyone that's listening, you know, we've all felt the pinch, right? We felt the pinch at the pump. We felt the pinch when we're going to grocery stores. Um, you feel the pinch just everywhere. And I'm thinking of, when you think about the, the, the 
the uh, residents that we serve. And, you know, if, if we're feeling the pinch, what does that pinch feel like to them? When you look at the, you look at the wealth spectrum, right? You've got your ultra wealthy, you've got your um, low income, right? So if everyone is feeling the pinch along the way, and it kind of looks different, maybe the, maybe the ultra wealthy, they aren't taking their private jets everywhere they go. Maybe they're not having lobster three times a week. Maybe it's only one time a week, right? So that's how they're feeling the pinch, you know? Then you've got, you know, the middle class where it's like, oh, maybe I'm not going to do that. Maybe I'm not going to go skiing this, this winter, right? It, so it's a different pinch compared to someone who is renting, and they're living in an area that it has become unaffordable um, for a variety of reasons, but mostly because um, they it's hard to pay, it's hard to fill up their car with gas. Like they don't know where they're going to get the money to fill up their car with gas, right? And so it makes sense to me, Seawing, that if we do go into 2023 um, and we are in a uh, recessionary period, and maybe it's prolonged, maybe it's shallow. There's everyone has a different opinion on what it's going to look like. We're not going to know it until we're actually living it through it. Um, but there is going to be a segment of the population that is going to need to find a better way of living and migrating from, you know, there's many people migrating out of California into Texas, out of California into Tennessee, right? There's, there's going to be uh, people living in the United States that maybe maybe they go out of Texas and they move into an Alabama. They migrate to a Huntsville. They migrate to Chattanooga or they migrate to some other lower cost of living so that they stop the suffering, right? Especially if they lose a job. If they lose a job and they don't have anything anchored, they can just go and move about the country. Sound like a commercial there, but... Um, so I do see, and that was what rent, you know, rent, uh, uh, rent.com had printed in their article as they saw that highest in net migration was in um, Chattanooga, or sorry, it was in um, Huntsville, Alabama. Another article I saw was, was out of Tennessee, people moving a lot to Tennessee, why? Lower cost of living. So I do think we're going to see that if this inflation is prolonged, if this recession is prolonged, I think we're going to see a lot of movement in the country. That's right. It's, yeah, it's all about, you know, investors, they need to buy a, uh, an investment property where they could uh, get positive cash flow with 25% down payment, uh, low affordable entry level homes, especially entry level new construction, which is very rare these days. We, you and I talked about it. And, uh, and then a good uh, rental market and um, job growth, population growth, migration into the area. So uh, you don't you check every you should check every investor's box. This area, Huntsville is up and coming. So with that in mind, uh, so I know Spartan Invest is a you use a great turnkey system where you, you know you have done everything for the investors already. Uh, so so uh, furthermore, uh, your uh, base, uh, the cash flow you and I know is not that great, uh, obviously because of the uh, skyrocketing housing housing prices and the uh, rent. The rent has not caught up with the uh, skyrocketing housing prices. Not, mm -hmm. not just yet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've been watching that, those data. But uh, for the time being, it's never a wrong, uh, wrong time to buy now. Uh, uh, you know, buy now and uh, you know, uh, you know, buy real estate and wait instead of wait to buy real estate. But on top of that, you guys have some great promotions that is a game changer. So if that doesn't entice a real estate investor. To pull the trigger in your market, I don't know what will. So <laughs> with that in mind, share with the rest of us why your great promotion and incentive program for real estate investors are really a game changer. So go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for the platform. So we recognize, you know, I'm an owner of Spartan, so we recognize that there are factors, mostly unfounded in my opinion, but factors that are keeping investors on the bench versus getting in the game. So uh, we brainstormed to figure out what can we do to get the bench warmer off of the bench, right? <laughs> get into the game of play and, and earn through the multiple ways that real estate pays you and carry you through this period, whatever this period 
you want to call it. So we came up with a few promotions. Now it's not all of them. I want to make sure you get to choose one of them, <laughs> right? Because we recognize that in investors, some cash flow is more important to them. Some, um, you know, maintenance coverage is more important to them. Some hate paying the, the leasing fee, right? Some want uh, the lower rate. So, you know, we kind of made a menu of options that a, an investor could choose from. Um, if they were to, if they were really wanting to get into the game, but they were just a little hesitant and they needed that little nudge to go, Hey, we got your back. We're going to, we're going to make sure that you're okay through this period. So here they are. Um, so for any property, so we do the point buy down number one is point buy down. So, um, any properties, $200,000 or more, we'll buy two points down, which is equivalent to half a, half a percentage rate, right? So if it's 8%, we'd knock it down to 7.5 at our cost. Okay. Um, if the property is under 199,000 or under, we'll buy down one point. Um, or you now you have a choice. If you don't want the point buy down, um, you can take the option of a six month maintenance guarantee. We only usually do 90 days, but we're extending it to six months. So some people that have been burned in the past before by an unexpected bill, voila, there you go. We, we appeal to you. Um, then the, um, we'll waive the leasing fee. Right. So if you don't want to pay the leasing fee for the first, you know, um, two years on that, because we do two year leases. So we would just waive that fee altogether. And then for my cash flow people um, that are really focused on the monthly cash flow, we have um, the option of adding an additional amount to the base rent up to $100 for the next 24 months. So, for example, if we got a base rent of $1,250. Um, that the that the lease that the tenant signed with us, we would actually make it thirteen fifty with Spartan covering that extra hundred for the next twenty four months, right? So if you're a cash flow person, that might make more sense to you. If you're a reduced by rate person, then you're gonna like the point buy down. If you're I hate the maintenance and I want more protection against that, then you'll like that six months uh, maintenance guarantee. Um, and then if you are the don't want like hate paying leasing fees, don't want to pay that. I've got that for you too. So it's not all of them. It's you get to choose one of them that most appeals to you. Yeah, that's a very good idea. That that should be a very, uh, very good idea. So uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's worked. We've had some people, you know, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely got some people off the sidelines for sure. Cause they, you know, and I get it. You can get paralyzed by that, by all the, 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 um, the headlines that are pretty seem very scary and, Fill the, fill the world full of uncertainty. But I like what I like what Warren Buffett said. And he's like, when others are fearful, be greedy. Are others fearful right now? Well, I guess they are. So it's a time to be greedy versus and when they're greedy, be fearful. So um, those that are fearful right now, they're in the masses. Those are the ones that have that greedy mindset of get, grab and go and get what you can and build your portfolio while I before there's less competition in the marketplace. You're going to have a very different financial future than the ones that are um, fearful and sitting on the bench. Oh, by the way, uh, something you and I talked about it. So, so uh, our you and I, our recommendation is uh, buy right now, uh, because uh, because uh, even uh, with the, especially with the incentive uh, that you, you just uh, you just uh, provided, really a, a no brainer. And 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 then over time, uh, when the interest rate goes down. Uh, a point to two point in the next 12 to 24 months, you can always cash out refinance because right now you're dating the interest rate and but you're marrying your investment property. <laughs> so yeah, we had a video, we have video about that. So, and, and also over time, uh, you know, the rent will go up uh, in alignment with inflation. So once you refinance your, your rate from currently whatever it is, into a let's say in a year from now, two years from now, the interest rate, go, the mortgage rate goes down to a five point five percent, or something like that. For investor, you can easily cash out refinance and bring your cash flow back up to your expectation. Furthermore, I mean uh, uh, the rent increases based on inflation, and we think inflation will continue to uh, uh, to be uh, to be fairly high o over time. So you can always raise your rent, so your cash flow can increase naturally anyway meanwhile you know the the renter uh, they're paying 
paying your your rent, you, and not only the renter paying your rent, they they're paying your mortgage, they're paying your taxes, your your property management fee, and uh, the whole entire monthly debt service is 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 you know is outsourced to a uh, someone by the name of, of a uh, of a tenant. So they make you. <laughs> No, they're making you rich, you know. So, so your only upfront uh, risk is your own twenty five percent down payment, whatever down payment you put in. The rest is gravy. The rest is uh, just just invest over time. Then you have an equity growth, and your debt pay down. With your your tenant gonna pay down your debt systematically, and your equity gonna grow over time based on appreciation, and, and you get tax benefit. You and I um, I've talked about that quite a uh, quite a. Uh, Quite a bit on our past videos. So it's a real estate is a multi-dimensional asset class, and it's all about buy real estate and wait instead of wait to buy real estate. And for those people that wait to buy real estate, they, you can't time the market. It's it's yeah. time in the market. You cannot time the market. It's a, history tells you, uh, it's just that's not the way it works. That should not be the way it works. So that's my takeaway. So as we conclude this presentation. Uh, so, uh, you have any last minute recap and summary? Uh, uh, what's your takeaway for this particular presentation, Noreen? Until a hot market, lock in today, refinance later, buy and refinance. That's what you're going to hear from you know a lot of the housing experts that are um, have been in the housing game for a really long time. And uh, if you're fearful, act anyway, right? Because if you've got a soft landing with the company that is willing to support you, give you some of the incentives that you need to help nudge you, right? Get over that fear. It's like, we don't have to do that, but we are doing it because we recognize that the market has shifted rather drastically in a very short period of time. So we get that there is some apprehension and we're just doing different things that we haven't done before to you know, encourage investors to take the leap um, and to trust us and trust that we can over the next several years, because this is not a one-year investment, right? This is not something that you do and go, I'm going to look at this the end of 12 months. And if this doesn't make sense at the end of 12 months, then I'm not doing it. You're looking at it all the wrong way. You've got, this is, it's not called short-term rental. It's long-term buy and hold, right? This is probably a seven to 10 year plus holding so whatever happens in year one is not something that you need to base your entire investment decision on. It's you have got to project out for the next 10 years, rent escalation over that fixed rate period, that fixed payment period, everything else on the rise, the rent included, this places you in a higher and a better cash flow position, especially if you take C-Wing's advice and Dave Ramsey and some of the others that are out there, buy now, refinance later, um, reduce your rate, improve your cash flow position. You can't do any of that if you're not in the game. So get in the game. Well, with that, with that said, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and uh, Marie McCann from Spotting Invest. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Good luck and uh, take action. <laughs> we'll see you when you need. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.